Good afternoon to all my wonderful viewers out there. Welcome back to another unboxing video. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing the Capital Smile hoodie in the white that I picked up from Kafka Mercantile. <laughs> yes, guys, I went through with it. I finally got my first Capital piece. And I honestly thought it was going to come from Grailed because it's actually quite hard to find and pick up capital pieces in a size four or five from a retailer, mainly because not a lot of retailers actually stock capital. So after I did my pickups video where I talked about five capital pieces I would love to pick up in 2021, I went hunting. I was like, I'm gonna find that smile hoodie. For about an hour and a half, I went through every possible boutique that stocks capital and all of them, all of the size fives were sold out. There was only size threes left. And I was actually kind of thinking, you know what? Maybe tonight's not gonna be the night. Maybe I won't find one. But eventually I landed on this out of nowhere Scottish boutique called Kafka Mercantile. And I saw the smile hoodie. It was listed in their store page. And I was like, here we go again. It's on sale, so the size fives are gone. They're gonna have a size one, maybe a size three, and it's just gonna be another one. It's gonna be another one. But I clicked on the listing. They had a size three and a size five on sale. It all totaled up to be around 200 and something USD for the hoodie with express shipping, because that was the only option they had. Um, so it's just a little bit over the retail price of what it would have been if I proxied it from Capital, which I haven't done yet. I am looking to proxy stuff from Capital in the future. But uh, yeah, I thought it was really good because a lot of the times, well, actually every time you buy Capital from a boutique, it's always marked up by some ridiculous margin. But if you buy it from Capital's online store or physical stores, it's way cheaper. Problem is though, you can only buy it from Capital's in stores if you live in Japan and online stores, if you live in Japan, they don't ship internationally. So you have to proxy, um, or you just have to find it really cheap at a boutique. But yes, I was able to find one. I was able to find a size five in the capital smile hoodie, and we're gonna be unboxing it today, guys. So it's uh, got some very secure tape around the sides. So I've got my uh, trusty kitchen scissors here, which <laughs> aren't working too well. But let's get this open. Let's have a look at what the Capital Smile hoodie looks like in person. Uh, I'll showcase the tags to you as well for anyone out there that wants to like legit check one. And then obviously I'll try it on and showcase to you guys how a size 5 fits. Well, let's get into it guys. I honestly don't even know how to get started with this. This is some pretty goddamn secure tape. They were like, Daniel, we are making sure nobody is taxing this hoodie from the package. Like, we are making it secure. And geez, they did a pretty bloody well good job at it, I'll say that. But uh, yes, guys, 2021 is going to be my year of capital, I reckon. I reckon I'm going to pick up a bunch of pieces from them as I really like Capital's take on Americana. I think a lot of their... I, I like a lot of their outwear. I mean, I'm a huge outwear guy. Like, give me the basic pants. Give me the basic looking hoodies. But when it comes to outwear, give me the funky stuff. Give me the absolutely crazy, wild looking outwear that has like all over prints and stuff. That's me. And there's a lot of capital pieces that I'm seeing, especially on their online store, that I'm like, you know what? That's funky, and I definitely vibe with that. Um, some pieces in particular, I want to pick up like a dragging coat. They have this dragging coat that they always do like crazy prints on and stuff like that. So I'll be looking to pick that up as well. Uh, I mentioned it in my pickups video. Basically, I'm obviously looking to pick up all the pieces that I mentioned in my pickups video and uh potentially there might be a part two because when i actually had a look at the capital store and had a look at all the pieces available i was like damn there's actually more pieces than i want <laughs> more than the five that i talked about um in the uh pickups video but god damn they've really like securely packaged this this is some wild ass tape i'm sorry it's taken me so long guys but uh yeah, I want to know from you guys in that comment section below, how do you feel about Capital? Have you picked up any Capital pieces? Are you going to pick up any in 2021? Because I think 2021 for me, it's going to be my year of Capital and probably the regular contenders like Supreme and stuff like that. It's probably the two brands that I'll probably be picking up the most from in 2021. Okay, so we're finally in. We're through. <laughs> 
<laughs> they really se um, it, they really securely taped this, but there we go. So, here we are. I love this. Many thanks, Daniel. Oh, look at that. Personal card. Many thanks, Daniel. Your order was packed and care and attended by Jamie. There we go. Please return to, obviously, their page there. But many thanks, Daniel. There's their card on the back. I um, hope I'm pronouncing it right. Kafka. I think, I think that's how you pronounce it. We have what I assume is a order receipt. In a very nice little, I mean, look at that. It's in a nice little envelope and everything like that. Yep, it's a nice little order receipt. That's really nice. It comes in its own envelope. They really, uh, boutiques, man. Boutiques are the best. They're the best place to buy from because they always have amazing packaging and stuff like that. But there we go. Here it is. Let's get into this hoodie. Hopefully it's not too small, but size five is the biggest size. So hopefully size five fits a uh, very big fella. We're just going to have to see because I'm like six, five, hundred and... 10 15 ish kilos hopefully it fits okay <laughs> here it is guys i'll chuck the box over here here is showcase to us there the smile hoodie we can see the eyes on the drawstrings there those drawstrings are mad thick though look at that they are some thick ass boys let's get this out of the bag though damn this is just absolutely wild Pull it out. Oh, that 100% cotton made in Japan. It's very lightweight. I can feel it. it's a very lightweight hoodie. That's a wow. Those are some wide arms. Yeah, I, I definitely think this is going to fit me. This is a wide ass hoodie. This is going to have such a relaxed fit. So the only tag on it on the front here is simply made in Japan capital that's the only tag uh i'm assuming there's going to be a wash tag and i'm assuming they want me to cold wash this because capital uses a lot of natural dyes and you've got to really like lightly wash it because you um, can actually remove a lot of the color from the piece by washing it incorrectly but there's the tags as we can see on the piece there it has listed size five and then a bunch of details on that tag there there's a zoom in on the other side, we have the wash instructions, which I can sort of read. It has that it's 100% cotton. That cotton on the inside feels so soft. I'll showcase it to you. Okay, let's see if I can get the eyes centered as well, because it's going to look kind of wacky if I don't get the eyes centered. But... <laughs> okay, yeah, it didn't work too well. Okay. Well, that's what the piece actually looks like. There we go. There we go. That looks... Okay, well, it still looks super wacky. But that's it there. That's what the piece looks like. Um, yeah. Let's try it on and see how a capital size 5 fits on me. And how a capital piece is in general. Here it is, guys. Here is the size 5 on body. Uh, as I mentioned with my dimensions, I'm like 6'5", 6'6", with shoes on. Uh, about 110, 115 kilos, and this is how a size 5 fits on me. So don't worry, there's hope for us Westerners, we can wear the amazing Japanese clothing out there. <laughs> so even if you're a big fella. Uh, the fit is really, really nice. I would compare it to about a Supreme Large referencing, if you guys you know, are interested in picking one up off Grailed or something like that. A size 5 is going to fit like a Supreme Large. And that means a size 4 is going to fit a little bit smaller than that. So just be prepared for that. There's no pockets. So there's, this is it. It's li That's literally the piece. Um, it's ring spun cotton. So it's not fleecy on the inside. There's, um, Which is good for people that have like irritable skin. It's not going to rub on your skin and cause you to have rashes or anything like that. I know there's some people out there that experience that. Uh, all in all, it's a really solid piece. Really comfy. It's just that cotton is really, really nice. I love the graphic on the front. I love the oversized drawstrings. And they actually work as drawstrings. Like if I pull down on these, it'll tighten the hood. But I do just have to warn you about this. So I'm like, I think the last time I would had like a fitted cap, I was like towards the end of a size seven or even a size eight. Um, so I suffer from big head syndrome. And you really got to look out for that because if you have a big head like me, Get ready for the nun effect, because these hoods, they're small. <laughs> I 
Uh, I wish a size 5 increased the hood size, but uh, no, your boy is experiencing big nun syndrome right now with these hoodies. It reminds me of the old Del Schutze hoodies before they updated them. So yeah, um, be prepared for that. You do have to have a small head to wear it like this. So I think I'm going to wear this capital piece like this, just because it looks a little bit nicer there. And also I'm going to have to keep like flipping these drawstrings over to have the eyes there. But there you go. That's how the piece looks on body. I think it's a super dope hoodie. I can imagine myself wearing like a bunch of denim over the top of this. The color combination of white and yellow is sick. Love the graphic, love the piece, super happy with this. I'm definitely going to be picking up more capital pieces in 2020, but that definitely makes me think I've got to be very careful about the sizing because yeah, this is a size five and some of the pieces that I were looking at come in a size three and a size four. I'm really going to have to do my measurements to make sure that I can fit in all of it. Because uh, as you can see, I'm kind of kind of bulging in some areas. My shoulders are super wide, so that always causes an issue with uh, Japanese brain stuff like that. But that is it. Let me know all your thoughts and opinions on the piece down in the comment section below. Would you pick up this Capital Smile hoodie? Have you picked up any Capital pieces? Let me know. But I, I love it. Let me know how you feel about it down in that comment section below. But all in all, guys, that is it fully unboxed. Um, my final thoughts and opinions on it. I'm very, very happy with it. I bought it on sale. I think this is a really nice hoodie. The cotton feels really, really nice. One thing I like about it is the oversized arms. A lot of hoodies um, are very fitted these days. And I love this vintage feeling and vintage fit that they've got going on with the sleeves. My only critique is that I would have liked the hood to be bigger because like that's it at maximum width. Like I've stretched it as much as I can. And then <laughs> that's how it fits on someone with a huge ass head. So uh, just letting you guys know if you got a big ass head, well, um, you're in trouble. But apart from that, it fits awesome. I would just be very careful guys with your sizing with Capital, because it's a Japanese brand. It's not really designed for Westerners. So if you're a Westerner, really take your measurements and really make sure you're picking up the right size. Don't, don't be like one of those people that sees the size smaller is on sale or is available. Do not risk it. Do not risk it. Save up, buy the size that you can that will fit you. But I'm really happy with this piece. Uh, let me know all your th final thoughts and opinions on it down in that comment section below. Guys, if you guys want me to do more unboxing videos, more reviews of, you know, brands that you haven't heard of or picked up from before, don't forget to leave a big old like on this video, a comment in the comment section down below, and a subscribe to the channel as we are trying to hit a new milestone as well this month of 2,840 subscribers. We only need a couple more subscribers and then we've hit that milestone, guys, so subscribe today and hopefully we can reach the milestone before the end of February. That's everything I gotta say in regards to this Capital Smile hoodie in the white. I'll definitely be picking up more Capital pieces in 2021, guys. So subscribe today, and you can definitely get a you know review of those as well when they come in. But until the next unboxing video, until the next Capital video, until the next streetwear talk video, guys. I'll catch you later.